Hi guys, welcome back to Tierra Gitana. My name is Abby and today we are going to be doing some spell work. Um, I have been waiting for my ancestor um, seven day candle to go down, like to go off. So then I can show you how I fix um, my candle for my ancestors. Um, this is going to be a series because I do different ones depending on different things and depending on what work I'm doing with my ancestors. Uh, what I'm asking for my ancestors, when I'm, if I'm cleansing or healing, wh whatever the case may be, there's diff there's different ones. So this is going to be a series um, on how to work with um, your ancestors in different ways. Specifically, this one is going to focus on candle magic. Um, so we are going to be fixing this candle today. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to be using, how I'm going to do it, all the things. Um, so firstly, I'm going to tell you what you're going to need. You are going to need... A white seven day candle um, you can take off the like stickers and stuff and cleanse it we're gonna be cleansing it during this video so I mean I already cleansed it but I'm just gonna show you anyway um, so you're gonna need a white seven day candle you are going to need preferably one of these guys one of the fire um, I don't even know what to call these things fire starter things match flame things I don't know but this is <laughs> This is like a staple in my house because I, I go through these like, I, don't, I can't even tell you. Um, if you have some, if you, if you have some, if you have one, a mortar and pestle, um, you're going to need that to grind up the herbs that we're going to be using. And the reason for that is because we're going to, you if you don't want to use the pestle, you don't have to. I recommend doing it, um, especially when we're working with ancestors, you want to connect with them. On some level and that's something that they used to do a lot back in the day um, so that's one you're also gonna need Florida water because we're gonna be cleansing this is my mini one that I have <laughs> this is my working Florida water I have like Florida water all over the place but this is the one I keep at my desk uh, you're also gonna need some Palo Santo almost done with mine so you need some, some Palo Santo or sage if you want to use sage to cleanse um, and I'm going to be using my um ancestor oil that i made this is a blend that i made that hilariously um the story to this blend is that i was i got the download to do an ancestor oil for a long time because anytime i fixed um a candle for them i would end up using different things but like it was just like i kept getting the download like you need you need to fix you need to make an oil uh that you're going to constantly use for ancestor work so I decided to make my own <laughs> ancestor oil and it's up in my shop if you want one. It, they come in this size. So it's um, 5 eighth of a dram. And this oil specifically covers almost everything that you need to do with your ancestors as far as healing, connecting, um, doing past life trauma work. Uh, different different things. This, this is like multi-purpose for all ancestor work uh, and it is up in my shop. I'll put the link down below uh, for those who are interested in purchasing it. Um, but this is the oil that I'm going to be using because this is what I fixed for them and this is what they want me to use. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to use. And also if this is optional, you don't have to use it. I always use um, silver glitter for the ancestors, not gold, not any other color, but silver because it's the closest to white. And for the herbs that we will be using, the first one that we're going to be using is sage. Uh, the herbs are specially chosen based on, I work with the moon a lot, so I based on a, lo a lot of my work with the moon, with the day, the time of the week, uh, with the planets, I look at the chart, like there's, there's a process to it, but this spell can be done at any time, um, and this work can be done at any time using the sa same exact herbs, especially if you're trying to connect to your ancestors. Um, so sage is the first one sage is ruled by jupiter like the herb um and its element is air and i mean hilariously it's air of course it's like a huge cleansing tool right um it's great for protection wisdom um connecting with the dead um immortality work cleansing we all know this so this is going into our candle because this is one of the herbs that um really helps connect to our ancestors when it comes to doing old school type of work so sage is the first one the next one is going to be skullcap and skullcap is great it's like a very multi-purpose herb 
Um, I'm including two herbs that are uh, Saturn ruled in this video because the moon is in Capricorn and we have a lot of earth in the chart right now. A lot of it is Capricorn. So I want to work with um, Saturn energy and Saturn is a planet of time and karma and all of these things. So he's great to work with when you're trying to connect to, um, besides Pluto, when you're trying to connect to um, things that's happened in the past, healing time, healing trauma, healing, connecting, those type of things when it comes to ancestor work. So we're going to be working with Saturn. Uh, so Skullcap, it's ruled by Saturn and its element is water, which is good because we also have some water in the chart right now. And it's great for money spells, hilariously, but we're not going to be using it for that. Um, it's also good for love and peace, which is something that we're going to be putting into our candle. That's the intention we're putting into our candle. We want to make sure we are connecting with our ancestors in a way that is peaceful, in a way that is a relationship and is a genuine relationship um, that with, with a clear intention, which is why we're using that herb. The next one is um, Spearmint. And I use this one quite a lot, <laughs> as you can tell. Uh, spearmint is ruled by Venus, and this element is water. And Spearmint, where actually Venus is in a water sign right now, it's in Scorpio, so great herb to use. But a Spearmint, which is in Spanish is also called, uh, we call it uh, Yerba Buena is really good for healing, love, and protection work. Uh, so that's what we're gonna be using it for today as well. And then lastly, of course, we have, I said two Saturn herbs, is patchouli. Um, so patchouli is ruled by Saturn, element is earth. It is great for money, um, fertility, love spells, love spells. Um, but it's also really, it's a good substitute for grave jar dirt, dust as well. Um, and it's just a very earthy herb and we're connecting with basically root chakra energy because our ancestors are root chakra energy um so it it helps connect to the earthiness of it and all of it is actually just green oh, you would not be able to tell these herbs apart if you were in here right now <laughs> so the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to be cleansing this guy and i'm going to start with some florida water first And I usually switch this up. Sometimes I do um, Palo Santo or Sage first and then Florida water. And then sometimes I do Florida water first and then Palo Santo. It's like cleansing by technically liquid to water and then smoke so or air. Um, I was about to put this cap on, on the candle. That's cute. But you can switch it up whichever way you wanted to do it. Um, so this candle specifically the intention for this is just to connect to the ancestors because it's the first of the series so it's just going to be very simple um, for those who are starting their ancestor work don't know how to work with their ancestors this is very simple like I just want to connect with you I come with peace I come with love oh somebody just threw something out the window um, so I come with peace I come with love um, I come with clear intentions I would like to connect with you I would like to hear your messages I would like you to guide me those that basic intention um, it's not anything too complicated we're not gonna be connecting to a single um, ancestor or anything like that it's all of them <laughs> basically so the next thing I'm gonna do so I'm gonna heat up um, some pa Palo Santo and just smoke it out without burning my fingers Hopefully, hopefully without burning my fingers. And I'm going to be doing this ancestor series because, listen, Venus is in Scorpio. We have to clear a lot of, a lot of dead weight right now. So first, you can cleanse yourself, actually. And then I always like to go back because I feel like it starts going off a little bit. And then you're gonna do the top of the candle first, so you're gonna hold it up there, like you can see that. 
so this part gets cleansed because that's where we're putting our herbs so we need to make sure that the the foundation of where our herbs are going and where everything is going is cleansed okay so we run it through the smoke and then this is a really good way to like work with energy when it comes to candles you can hold it and feel like and see how it feels and see if it needs any additional cleansing or any additional anything um because you can feel the intention when you hold it this is just a vessel for it so oh i forgot to mention this part you're gonna need a chopstick the good thing is that they're very easy to come by <laughs> if you eat a lot of like different types of seafood and sushi, sushi and stuff like that um or chinese food or definitely everywhere that they use chopsticks um so get yourself a chopstick because we're going to be poking three holes into the candle and if you are curious as to why we're using the number three um three is a very divine number three is it's actually very complicated for me to explain the number three because that, that would be like a whole numerology lesson but for the sake of time um, threes, especially, is the number of Elegua, or Eshu, for those who work with the Orishas, and it's also a very divine number. Um, it holds a lot of power, and it holds a lot of connection, and it's very sacred when it comes to spirit body mind all that stuff it's a very sacred number and really channeling if you if you want to work with an orisha for this you don't have to you don't have to work with uh, a label for this because connecting to your ancestors is probably like the most easiest thing in the, in the universe to do um but he is the messenger as well so channeling that kind of energy is important also to note hilariously I don't know if anybody ever noticed this, but because astro I think I'm gonna do a video on the astrology of the Orishas, but Gemini is the third sign of the zodiac, right? <laughs> That's the first time that Mercury comes into play, and Mercury is actually the equivalent of like planetary wise, that would be Alegua. So it's kind of funny how threes like there's a lot of consistencies when it comes to the number three um so just stuff to note about the number three um also the next time he comes around um planetary wise is virgo and virgo is a sixth sign of the zodiac and virgo that's two threes so multiplying it so interesting fun stuff um so yeah so we're gonna do threes and again you can fill out your candle and see how it's feeling because this is the vessel and we're going to start working and prepping on our herbs so you can take this guy and I'm, i cannot stress this enough unless and i'm going to strictly say this unless you want to make a bare blend so that that way you can use consistently um throughout the weeks while you're doing the spell you do not need to put a lot in here literally a little bit goes a long way because once you grind it up it just gets a little bit bigger and it's not all gonna fit in here and that's not what we're trying to do so literally a pinch is all you need even probably less than a pinch um and if you wanted to, to like make yourself a little bit of a batch with this that's totally cool um you can totally do that and that way you have some um for like if you wanted to do like some ancestor work with the spell specifically for a consecutive amount of weeks like you wanted to do it three weeks straight or two weeks straight or something like that um and get yourself a candle and every day and every week light one which is something that i do i light a, a candle for my ancestors every week you can totally do that and that way you'll have enough so you don't have to remake the blend again um that's all I'm gonna use because we really do not need that much so for the grind we're going to this is something that I do um, 
personally speaking, there's different ways to kind of do this, but there's a special way that I do it. Uh, so I knock on the herbs three times, so, and then I grind. So again, three, it's a very significant number. And then I grind. And you can either count how many times you're grinding or just feel free to flow with it. But I grind up until I feel like I need to raise my hand again and knock it again three times. And while I'm doing this, I'm thinking about my intention. And again, while you're doing this as well, your ancestors are already going to be present and they're already going to be watching you and feeling your intention. So just flow with it. This is very easy, basic level ancestor work. This is not super, super crazy. Um, so when it comes to this kind of thing, just feel at ease. Do, do your best to feel at ease because this is not like we're going to go into a two hour meditation after this and do No, this is just um, being an open and honest connection. with gratitude as well you can um just say you know thank you for being there for me or you you, you can either say words of affirmation or you can say them to you know say it to yourself or you can um say a prayer there's like different you can customize this spell whichever way you want it to i already have a very long and established relationship with my ancestors so they're looking at me right now like this is for you guys <laughs> But they do like it when I fix candles for them. I don't ever, 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 ever put up a plain candle for them. Ever. Ever. Just, I, I just don't do it. I know people do it, and I know it's something that, um, you know, like it said, you know, put when you're doing your building your ancestor altar, put a white candle, all this stuff, you know? That's, yeah, that's, that's, I, I've past the basic stuff I, I never put anything on my ancestor altar that's not going to work for my ancestors um that's the way i see it so i like them to have the energy of what i'm doing the energy what i'm feeling my intention in there and what the first time that you're starting to work your, with your ancestors also pay attention to the fact that if your candle if your candle comes out like you know black and stuff that just means you're clearing stuff whether it's like your relationship your communication to them your connection to them um trauma on their end there's gonna be stuff that's gonna come up so now like currently all of my ancestor candles come out white or like um smoky white um but usually like i noticed when i first started working with my ancestors that i, I um that it was coming out with the top was like black like black like it was just like black and it's because it was clearing up a lot of trauma um and it was necessary okay so we got ourselves a really good powder over here so now what i always like to do after i grind is i put my hand over it and then I go in and activate all the herbs. And the way you activate all the herbs is that you pick what it is that you want your each herb to do. It's already been blended, so you can just set a general intention because what you're doing with, with the herbs and the reason why we pick the herbs that we do in spell work is because we're activating a specific quality that that herb then does so that we can use it and amplify our spell work and our intention that's what the whole point of using herbs in spell work is so i already went down the list of what each herb like the qualities of it and how you can use it in different things but the intention for this is just very very clear uh so for me for this spell work i and i'm gonna say it for you guys as well i'm just gonna state um i would just like to thank my aunt ancestors i honor you for your presence in my life um i am grateful for all the love and the protection that you bring to me please continue to protect me please continue to bring messages to me please continue to guide me in the right direction um please continue to um give me love and healing and i send love and healing to you as well may 
I grow abundantly, may my family grow abundantly, um, may our connection be strong and healthy. And I'll just lay my hands over it and I'll just, I usually, I would reiki all of my herbs, which is something that I'm gonna do as well, but I'm just gonna do it in my head. So. So then after you have set the intention with your herbs, you're going to then start. You can rotate the candle as you put the herbs in or you don't have to. Do what you want to do. Follow your own inner voice on that one. literally get put the perfect amount of herbs because it's literally literally perfect it's not too much but not too little okay so put this over here Ooh. so then always like I, I love doing this I just like going back to the candle and seeing how the vibration of it is and it definitely amplified with the herbs on it now so the next thing I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna drop a couple drops of the ancestral oil you don't need all that much but I always like to be extra and just coat it <laughs> you know uh, so I do like one full there we go and I make sure it's in there I'm gonna do another one okay perfect okay I made myself the big bottle because I don't want to like use the mini ones myself like I don't want to have to open them and like I want to keep it just for myself so I made myself a ginormous one <laughs> um, you know treat yourself treat yourself so the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw some glitter in there and then this baby is pretty much good to go so I would set this on the altar and I will just let it go down and while it's burning um, afterwards if you want to read your candle you can totally read it I need to make a video on how to read candles I'm gonna do that uh, but you can read your candle and see how it went down um, the colors afterwards but this is just a very simple connecting to the ancestors um, candle work and Pay attention I would say throughout the week while this is burning pay attention to your dreams pay attention to the thoughts that come to you pay attention to your instincts as well um, pay attention to anything related to family that comes up for you during the week as well because you, you'll kind of start noticing some shifts um, kind of right away um, pay attention to your decisions if you ask for guidance pay, pay attention to what guidance you are receiving um, pay attention to the messages that are coming to, for, to you from different people, different places, like, it's, it's going to start happening anyway. So, after you're done, you can go ahead and light the candle. Oh, come on, you're a brand new one. Literally, I just opened this guy. Hold on. There we go. Okay. So 
I usually like to reiki the candle until the flame starts going down all the way to the wax. But this is like the perfect uh, candle work um, spell work to do for your ancestors before you start any more advanced um, work with your ancestors. Working with your ancestors generally is very, very easy. But when you're doing um, trauma work, that's when it starts getting a little bit complicated. So this is just the beginning of the first series. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you would like to know and um, would like to buy the Ancestor Oil, I'm going to put the link down below. It's a for purchase. And, um, and you know what? There's going to be a coupon down below too because I'm in the moon. And it's going to be, it's probably going to be called Ancestors because why not? Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I hope you guys try to, try to do it yourselves and I hope that it works out really good for you guys as well. Um, let me know if you have any questions or anything. So you can go ahead and put this on your ancestor altar. And just leave it alone. That's it. All my links and stuff will be down below. I will see you guys in the next video.